uh, I want to stay in Mexico for one second. Um, you mentioned that the cartels, they have military grade weapons. Is this the reason that the Mexican government has not gone to full out war and eradicated these cartels? Are they just that outgunned over there? No, I, I don't believe that's the major reason. I, I really believe that the, the reason they don't go after them is because they get money from the cartels. Government officials like army generals and stuff like that in the Mexican government in high government positions are being paid. They're on the payola of the cartels. That's the main reason. Number two, if the Mexican government really wanted to take, to take, take these cartels out, they would seek the help, training, and assistance of the United States. We could go in there and, and uh, uh, brothers, uh, along with the Mexican army and we could take out the cartels in one week. Because the cartels, even though they have sophisticated weapons, they could never take on our army. They could never take on our seals. We are the we are one of the best military in the world. You know why? Because we have a lot of war experiences. We have a lot of war experience because we're always at war. That's why we we have the greatest and the most experienced military of the world. We could take out the cartels in a week. But the president of Mexico says, "Oh no! Don't violate my, don't violate my, uh, my, my uh, sovereignty. Whatever um, country here, don't here my sovereignty. You're going to violate my sovereignty. Why? He doesn't want to take him out. They don't want to take him out, John. They can be taken out. Not only that, you want to stop the problems here in the country. All these guys that are that are that are the, the suppliers of meth, of fentanyl. Every time they somebody dies because one of these." Uh, Pushers gave him the pill or sold him the pill. Why not charge him with murder? That's a form of, of, of a murder, uh, Sean. They should charge him with some serious stuff. Why people saying I ain't selling that stuff? They they or you know they put that guy in life or give him life prison. Really, really put him away. No, a little slap on the hand and they they do a couple two three years for drug trafficking and they're out again doing trafficking again. We've got to get serious. Why Why can't they? If somebody is proven to have sold something that somebody else ingested and died, you should charge him. They know those those, those the drugs are dangerous. They know what they're selling is, 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 is very, very, very addictive and dangerous. But yet they still do because of greed. But you start charging some of these guys with, with, with homicide and serious crimes and put them away for a long time, it will stop. But right now we're cradling criminals or... And, you know, a lot of them, I don't, I don't even, they don't even post bond anymore. They let them right, 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 right out to the streets again. Our government is not protecting its citizens. They're not fulfilling their responsibility. Their number one responsibility has got to be to protect its citizens. And yes, to protect the national security of this country. That's their number one uh, job. But they're not doing it. And they're not doing it because we see the open border think also of the collateral crimes because of the human trafficking. 85,000 children disappeared last year. They don't know where they went. Homeland Security doesn't know over 85,000 children that came in illegally. I know that the cartels are making money by organ harvesting, by making them sex slaves, Selling them out to adoptions to people that can can get them uh, get adoptions legally. They're making money in this country right now by doing all of that. Now they they have this new thing. It's called uh, andro androgenochrome, and, and, and that is they use children's blood supposedly to bring youth to themselves. They're drinking. They're taking blood from children and they're and they're drinking it. The cartels have got their hand in all of this, Sean. The women are being raped that are coming in. A lot of them are being made sex slaves in this country. That's what they don't talk about. The collateral damage of all this human trafficking. And think, why do the people that are coming in this country are wearing wristbands? A wristband basically proves that they've already paid to the cartels to come into this country. 
if anybody tries to come into this country through Mexico and they don't pay the cartels, if the cartels get them, they will kill them. That's why everybody, whether you come from China or you come from wherever you, well, I don't care, South America, whatever, the first thing you do when you get to Mexico, you want to come across, you go to the cartel. How much would you, would you charge me? Chinese, are, I understand, are, are being charged 20000 per person to, to be brought across illegally. South Americans, between five and $10,000. And if you don't pay that money, Sean, to the cartels, guess what? You don't come across. You might try, but if, they, if you get caught, you'll be you'll be murdered. Let, let me make sure. I'm, and the cartels love. I, I want to make sure I'm understanding you correct. Are we talking about coming across the border illegally or legally? Illegally. Nobody comes across the border legally. Illegally. So the people who. So if you're from China, you. If you're from China again and you want to come to Mexico, mm-hmm. the first thing you got to do when you get to Mexico is come tell the cartels and say, I'm here. I want to be basically assisted getting across. Um, how much do you charge me? $20,000. Then they put them, they give them a wristband showing that they, 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 they paid their quota to come across illegally. Okay. And that's what's going but, on. But there are. So these, these illegals are going to. There are some people who are coming into the United States legally through the proper channels, correct? Yeah, but it's taking them up to 15 years. In other words, you're in Mexico and you apply legally. Right now, the, the, the process is it takes about 15 years for you to actually come in legally. Yes. That's why most people don't even bother applying for it legally because they get in front of the line. This is what's the, the abusers. They get in front of the line. And this is why the people that apply legally take years to get in because we got 5 million people that, are, that came in in one year illegally. So we're inundated. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.